The following podcast contains strong language, uncovered orifices, and the longest fucking two hours of your life. Viewer discretion is advised. Show me your V'ger. My oath of celibacy is on file, Captain. Four guys and a movie. Four guys and a movie. Don't I pray and rub at your review and do it for the show. Four guys and a movie. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the 4AM Podcast. The podcast about movies, snacks, and all things nerdy. I'm your host, Wiener. I don't know. It's a, it's, I was thinking of like a V'ger, like another slang term for a... Just, just somebody else go. <laughs> Tony, what's your name today? I'm just going to let you go. I'll just be engineer, Tony. That's fine. I am a brick of Vulcan. I am 10 seconds of unabordable thrust coming out of Leonard Nimoy, <laughs> propelling him into an open anus. <laughs> All right. Space anus. Hey. So last episode, we rolled poorly. Uh, we rolled a Star Trek movie, and uh, it actually came up on the first one. <clears throat> so we watched Star Trek, the motion picture. Anybody here seen that film before? No. Possibly. I had seen parts of it. Yeah, okay. this, this is the one of the original movies I had never seen. Mm. Yeah, see, I, it, that's the, I, I know I've seen parts of it, but I'm now, I, you know, I'm, I'm not clear if I had just only ever seen parts of it or if I'd seen the whole thing and blocked most of it out <laughs> yeah. to preserve my and, sanity. And that is, the, that is the problem of me and my gift slash curse. This movie has already been purged. I don't remember a damn thing. And we just spent the last 20 hours watching it. Yes. Uh, so tell us a little bit about Star Trek. Oh, God. The motion picture. Uh, From memory. Yeah, just let me cue up my brain. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Star Trek, the motion picture, the, the first one from 1979. Uh, it was, um, oh, I'm losing shit. He wakes up on a star. Uh, directed ship. by Robert Wise, who, uh, also brought us The Andromeda Strain, cool. Sound of Music, West Side Story. <laughs> okay. Yeah, big, well, big movies, whether yeah. you like them or not. Yeah, no, cool, um, cool, 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 cool. So they're either musicals or they're about extinction level events. Right. Yeah. Or they're this. Well, I mean, an extinction level event was going to happen here. Uh, okay. I almost died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. There was, it was kind of like the Black Plague of 1979. Yeah. yeah. Metaphorically, like, if you're talking about hope, that was oh, wiped God. out. Yeah. Um, also, the a uh, bunch of the background extras, particularly in the scene where uh, Kirk is addressing the whole group. Uh, a lot of people in there were just Star Trek fans who were the people that mm. rode in to save it. Oh. To, or, well, save it as far as giving it a third season. Oh, okay. um, Before, you know. Before rescinding their uh, <laughs> signatures. Uh, but, um, yeah, then, well, Kirk himself, uh, William Shatner, was like, when he saw this movie, he was like, yeah, I think this is the end of it, guys. <laughs> that was dull. Five really? Hours. He didn't like it? Nope. Oh, okay. I can't imagine why. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that that's about it. Okay. Uh, I want to guess how much it cost. Ooh. There was a lot of models. I don't know, $1979. Sets. Uh, I'm going to say $30 million, And I feel like that's probably too high. Star Wars had already come out. <laughs> yeah. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. I this just came out the that. same year as Alien, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Star Wars was about to put out its second movie. Yeah. Um I'm going to say this was 20 million, which is probably overshooting, but I feel like a lot of money was wasted on this. 
This feels like it had about the same production value as Alien, but Alien just used it a lot better. Mm -hmm. A lot better. Mm, 25 million. All right. Uh, goes to Rob. It was 35 million. Fuck. Okay. okay. I want to guess how much it made. Uh, I'm going to say 90 million. 100 mil. A dollar. Yeah. I don't I think it like made 90. 90. I feel like 90 yeah. was way high when I said it. <laughs> like 60? Yeah, it goes to Joe's 82 million. 82? Okay, I'm not that far yeah. off. No, but just. He's close as about going over. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I uh, you know, it's just a, it's a difference of like the first hour of Deadpool Wolverine. <laughs> this, this movie, like you could have gotten a, an Aliens and a Predator yeah. for the cost of this movie. Yeah. Granted, those did not have anywhere near the grandiose sets that this does. You could have gotten a handful of Godzilla minus yeah. ones. Could got a, got half a Jurassic Park. Yeah, but that's just a Jurassic. Yeah. You probably should have spent less money on models and sets so you could have, you know, done anything. Hired a script writer. Or yeah. bought some underwear. Hey, Joe, uh, how many dicks did you think you were going to see in this movie? <laughs> I expected. What did you think the cock and ball count was going to actually be? I mean, I, I expected the equipment to be prominently on display in the uniforms. Did you? Yeah, I didn't expect that crew members would just be flagrantly staring at it. <laughs> yeah, there is that. <laughs> but I don't blame them because it's it's just out there. Yeah, yeah, people are just walking around in morph suits. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah, it was a uh, yeah. There's a lot of little. But I, I get. I do not understand what the rhyme or reasoning for these outfits mm. are. I kept saying these are the most ununiform uniforms I've ever seen. I don't know, but everybody would show up and you'd be like, oh, there's little birds and there's three little legs. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you were security, then you get a giant cod piece. Then you do. That yeah. goes all the way up to your shoulders. Sure. Like yeah. a mankini. <laughs> but, but that was part of why it was such a surprising thing because you never knew who was going to have what. Yeah. Because some people would, you know, have the more suit, but then they'd have that long T-shirt over it that just dangled enough where you kind of yeah, covered yeah. things. Well, you can tell so, those are the guys making the most money. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> but, like, so, and, like, other people, are, you know, some people are dressed as stormtroopers. That one guy just had football gear. Like, so, like, you never knew what was going to happen until they turned around, and then it's like, ah, that's, it's junk. I like that. Bring your uniform from home. Oh, Cl on camel the, toe. Yeah. Like, on those uniforms, there's clearly no need for a belt, because that thing is just adhered oh, to yeah. you. Oh, yeah. But they put a belt buckle on it anyway. Yep. There's no belt. Wait, there's well, no belt. To... It's just, it's one piece. Because so yeah. belt huge. buckle is a psychological thing yep. that the, the uh, designer would have come up with to give you something else to stare at. Yeah. It just so. happens to be in the same area as the genitals that yeah. you stare at. Yeah. Wow. Well, I did notice the... Why don't you put, like, flashing lights on their shoulders or something? I, yeah. Well, I was going to say, the belt buckle does seem to have, like, uh, like shiny bits on it yeah. or a f reflective surface. So it's yeah. probably, if you look down, it blinds you. Mm. Uh, yeah. Speaking of blinding, who are we not seeing in this film? <laughs> uh, so, as mentioned, we have William Shatner, Captain Kirk. Sure you got do. Leonard Nimoy as Mr. Spock. Yeah. You got uh, DeForest Kelly as... Um, and that's it. That other guy. As, uh, you know, the Dr. Uh, Bones. I don't know what... Dr. McCoy. Uh, wow. Freaking, you got uh, nope, Laura Nichols it. as O'Hara. You got uh, not really. Walter Koenig as Chekhov. For I'm not going to say Scotty because he's... He just relieves this film like halfway through the second act. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but all the rest of them are basically just props. I, yeah. I could almost guarantee at one point Michelle Nichols was replaced with a cardboard cutout of herself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, we got to name at least the two leads. Spe special we props did. to, um, oh shit, why well, can't, uh, George Takei as, um, as Mr. Zulu, because he, he makes some of the goofiest faces when they're exploring this ship. I mean, it's not really that special. George it, Takei pretty much just does that. Yeah, but I mean, it was it was all I had to keep <laughs> me going in this film, was just the faces. Him and Walter Kettig, when he just stares right at Kirk's dick. Yeah. Like the faces that he was making. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Wait, wasn't it? Uh, we, I thought that was, uh, that wasn't Chekhov? Yeah, that Walter Kettig. Yeah. Chekhov. Oh. Yeah. I was yeah. George Takei is what I was thinking. <laughs> Also, like, oh yeah, did, George, George Sakai was like not even in this. Was, no. Did 
uh, did his uniform? Like, why was it different? Because it Who? who's uh, um, George Takei. I don't know. I don't think his was, was it different? different. It was different. I mean, he and was the first one we saw with the short sleeves. But I don't well, know. he th- at one point, like when we first see him, like he seems to have more like a a karate gi style, and yeah, I was like, is this offensive? Was like, like what? Decision. I no, wouldn't I mean, be surprised. All the uniforms are diff- various forms of pajamas. <laughs> it's like, yeah. and like, yeah, I, you just brought your stuff from home. Yeah, and <laughs> I mean, as long as it's a V neck, that's mandatory. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was a list like uh, yeah. welcome to Star Trek the motion picture please purchase a tan onesie so target rules <laughs> yeah, Just, yeah. You um, buy your own red shirt and tan pants will be supplied for you a- any other rules yeah we have to be able to see your junk yes man or woman uh, <laughs> yeah I didn't see that many women junk mm-hmm. yeah. there. there's a few Maybe as it's not as yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, and it certainly doesn't stand out as much. Well, and, and Laura well, Nichols is smart enough to just like, like, I'm never standing up in this film. I will be sitting in so my chair the entire time. We have a bald woman and a sex offender to also get to. So. No, uh, I mean they, not, not they convicted, exist, right? Yeah, convicted. I, I don't know. Not convicted. I I didn't predator. I don't know. Okay. He he's energy now. It don't yeah. matter. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> he's, he's, I don't like that energy. I <laughs> I saw the report where he talked to a newswoman and admitted it. Cool. I don't know what happened cool. to him after all right. or uh, before. Sounds uh, good. All right. We woke up in the morning. So, this movie. Oh wait, do we have a we have a fat chat uh, thing to discuss? Oh God, we no. Got, we got some fat. Yeah. To, yeah, to yeah, accumulate. Yeah. No. Oh. Doritos Tangy Ranch. This might actually have promise. It's not spicy. It doesn't say spicy. It just says tangy. No. Not, not cool either. No. Not cool. That's, I mean, it could be cool. We don't know. What? I like, I tangy, like they mean renaming of that as Tangy. That's, <laughs> that's how the Europeans do. Oh, uh, okay. This is the Doritos uh, tang, Tangy or Tangy <laughs> for our Eastern European friends. They're a fine, pale... Now, is the back of the bag leading me to believe that it's Cool Ranch mixed with Flaming Hot? Yeah, no. probably. Or is that no, just... I think this is just these are other things you okay. can buy. Well, let me take a couple. These are the other varieties of ranch. Pass that down the brick. And, uh, yeah, I found these at a store. And I purchased them with money. Mm-hmm. I'm That's just trying to rock. fill time while Brick <laughs> sh- shakes out... 20 chips. Now, Rob just job. grabbed the bag and ran for the door. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Immediately cool. fell over and I th- panting. <laughs> I said, uh, I don't know. I was going to say a line from this movie, but I don't remember any lines from this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone now. The only line well, I remember so is... so little <laughs> leavens. Why are these so leavens? All right. I think I got right, smacked let's try around. It smells like Doritos. It does smell like a Dorito. That's plus. I would hope so. It does not really taste like a Dorito. No, it kind of does. Just a... Faintly. A milder Dorito. Yeah, it's a very mild corn chip. Yeah. Yeah, It tastes like a Dorito if it had no flavor on the Dorito. Yeah, it is very plain. Mm. Which is weird. I'm getting a little bit of tangy in the back of my tongue, but... I have zero tang. Very little tang. Um... Yeah. So what? according to the back of the bag, this is flavor on another level. Yeah. It doesn't say what direct. It could be yeah. down. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah it's true. a sub-level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is like a, the sub-basement. I mean, Would what you the say hell that the flavor is on this? Is below decks? Yeah. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So right. what is on this? Because it's not tag. Flavor. But there's no flavor. Uh, let me let me see. Corn, vegetable oil, whey, salt, maltodextrin, also made from corn. All right, this natural and artificial flavors. Are MSG. you trying to make this segment as long and boring as the movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm All gonna right. keep these near you, so that. You know, when you say something inappropriate, and you, can uh, you reach know what? For them. And I'm gonna uh, actually, we should start. <laughs> we should start with that. 
<laughs> so we start off. What do we start off on the Vulcan home well, no, world? No, or? no, we we start. We bust the theme out. That that we was bust cool. The next generation. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. Before any of that happens. Oh. Five minutes of black. Oh, oh yeah, that's just to prepare you. Yeah. Solid minutes of just <laughs> black screen with weird, like, just orchestral music. Yep. Yeah. To put you to sleep. Yeah. Or to give you time to load your gun in the theater. <laughs> I swear I mean, to God, someone wrote a script for one of the episodes, mm. and they were like, well, Maybe we can stretch it out and make that it, you know, it's too short for an episode, exactly but that's, that well, is we it. can stretch it out for a full episode. Yeah. And then they were like, fuck that. Let's make it a movie. And they're like, well, maybe we can stretch it out more. Well, that's like all these Star Trek movies. Yeah. Someone was like this times two on right. the, on the cover of the, of that episode script. Right. But no, I mean like compare this to Wrath of Khan, like Wrath of Khan's awesome. And you know, and this is like, nothing's happening. But anyway. So, you know, it takes like five minutes before the Paramount logo shows up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Then, then the theme goes, busts out, and you're like, "That's awesome." Then you this see is some. The first time you hear this theme, yep. yeah, because the entire original series did not do this yeah. theme. Yeah, it's it's the next generation theme song, yeah. which is mm-hmm. crazy to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and as far as I know, this theme is not for any of the other movies. I was just about to ask that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you're probably not. You see some Klingon ships. And I'm guessing, Brick, since you have watched the the regular series fairly recently, mm. like this would be such a a weird but like welcome change compared to like the the Klingons that you see on the the original series and like the quality of the models oh, and the quality yeah. of the makeup. Now, you I know, know you put everything this in front is of me, bad. But I don't I don't like these. Yeah. <laughs> that just that just hit me. Well, no, don't don't let him just Hoover the whole fucking bag. Well, yeah. I mean, I will. Um, Do you want him? <laughs> Maybe, but I mean, you can put anyway. <laughs> was this the first time we saw Klingons that looked like Klingons? Or I honestly didn't notice if they had head ridges or they not. They do, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. This, this is, is the first time what yeah. Klingons will look like going forward. Then, yeah, yeah, this is the first time that we ever okay. see Klingons with head ridges. You could correct me, but on the original series, they're basically just. Dudes, yeah, they're right? just guys. They're just guys. Yeah. Well, well they're, with black hair, right? They're, they're, they're guys dudes. with offensive makeup. Yeah, yeah. dudes I mean, with black. Figures. But like, not, like I think in the, like the first couple of seasons, it's not even. Mm-hmm. No, it. I, they're just I'm, dudes in those. I believe even then they have, uh, like, they have dark skin. Yeah, tan, <laughs> tanner, and like Fu Manchus. And they shit. always have goatees. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, it was just not good. I mean. So, um, the Klingons come across this big old cosmic cloud thing, and they're like, well, I mean, I don't, there's no subtitles, so I can't tell what they're saying, but I'm guessing it's just like, I don't know what this is. Let's shoot it. It's in our space. Sure. Yep. They fire some photon torpedoes at it. It does all of dick. And this thing just kind of erases them. Yeah. But, you know, not before they send out a distress call that a um, Federation space station picks up. And, like... Every scene in the beginning of this film where you're at a space station, there's just a man floating through yeah, space. There's always just a guy. Like, Many like floating an, people. Like an event horizon corpse. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think, like, that that person just let go, like, years ago and has just been drifting around. Like, he's he's long since dead. I, uh, I like that one. neighborhood. He's yeah. just drifted from the next space no, he's station. He's just that over. one guy that every week has a flip out. And he's yeah. like, that's it, I'm leaving. <laughs> and overall, it's like, I, I like to think, because like at some point, like, there was a dude, for, I don't know what he was doing, but he just passed by the Enterprise and just got, like, sucked into its orbit. And yeah. He can't get out. <laughs> he's constantly floating think, around. Do you think Kirk has, like, a favorite slur for Klingons? Yes. Yeah. What do you, what is it? I don't know. Let's come up with it. Um, Klingons and Vulcans and hum- and humans. Like uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with um, uh, Chewie's wife, Malabaka. Malabaka. A choo choo. Spock. Why do you keep letting these Malabaka Klingons on my ship? I All feel right. like no, Kirk, Kirk pro- probably would have known some Klingon from like. Just picking up interstellar communications, mm-hmm. and would have used like some Klingon insult against them. Mm. I don't know Klingon, so and it could I, just be Ridgehead, but like 
you said Malabaka Klingons. I think it needs to be like the replacement for Klingons. Like it's the the yeah, 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 offensive yeah. term. I don't, I don't know if he has the full hatred for him yet, but I mean, by Star Trek Six, it's a thing they the Klingons use against him in court because yeah. he does straight up say like, but, "I hate the Klingons. I'll is, never." What is the Klingon slur for a human? Oh, I know that exists, but I don't know uh, what it is. Pig. Uh. <laughs> Probably in Klingon. I mean, and what is everybody's slur for a Vulcan? You know, what? Google will tell me, but I don't really want to know. Um, let's just move on. <laughs> it, yeah, I'm sure it is out hey, there. Google, what's a good slur? Right. So now we learn this cloud is heading to Earth. Give me a list of slurs. All right, wait, wait. And, and I want to speed that? this up a little here. What? This whole movie, it's just Las Vegas. It's it's, it's a bunch of old people who were you know like hey we used to hang out in high school now we're a little older I finally got an upgraded like I don't know, 67 I could afford a cool car now Buick Scarlock yeah yeah uh, so you know I I'm, I'm not the captain of the football team anymore but I still want to hang out with my buds in the parking lot of the high school which is really uncomfortable and weird and like that's about it. Yeah, just go car, let's let's, some, let's some almost say the word vagina for the next two hours. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna drive through a Pink Floyd music video, mm-hmm. and we're gonna see some old space junk, and then we're gonna go home. Yeah, I bought this car from a Malabaca down on eighty six. Right. So actually, I, I'm sorry. Let me amend that. Also, my grandson's gonna show me how to get email. Mm, <laughs> That's what happens at the end. So a wild Spock appears on, like yeah. what? We see as Vulcan, which is not what Vulcan looks like in any other portrayal yeah, I've seen but of it. It's red and there's candy it's, everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of it krypton is a planet. Yeah. So. so, a wild Spock appears. He's got like a like a just you know, crazy hair. He's he been looks like Neil Breen. Yeah, he is. He just looks like Neil Breen. That's does look like best, Neil Breen. That's the description we could possibly. God, the other, I was watching some video and somebody put up a clip of, in one of his movies, Neil Breen is allegedly fighting a oh, tiger. Oh, yeah. That's his newest one. And holy crap. It's on, it's on my <laughs> list, Joe. Don't worry. Is it my role today? Uh, Fuck, I hope not. I don't know. I went, I rolled this, so it probably would have been John, so it's mm. probably Bricks. Uh-oh. Mm. But, I, I mean, Tony might, you know, oh. correct me if he's got a record. Yeah, but, cool. um, yeah, so, all right. so now Spock well, again, we don't have any subtitles. So he goes to talk to some other Vulcans under a giant crotch. Well, we like, had, you never see what the statue is. Subtitles. Oh, yeah, okay. There's subtitles. Uh, it doesn't uh, matter. I went to turn them on. No, it's very important. It's not. No, it is. I mean, okay, Hard let disagree. me let me guess at what was said. Yes, okay. okay I think you guys, right. yeah. <laughs> so he, she's like, are you ready to do whatever the ritual is that gives up his emotions? What? And he's like, yes, I am. Uh-huh. And then she goes to put the necklace on him, signifying that the ritual, you know, is beyond the point of no return when he senses some shit and he stops her. He puts the hand up. So then she's like, all right, let me find out what's going on. I'm going to mind meld with you. She does. And she's like, oh, you got to go take care of that. Yeah, you get well, the hops 100% for her. percent spot on. Yeah, you, you 90, don't. <clears throat> well, I'd say ninety percent spot. Uh-huh. She doesn't say you got to go take care of it. She just says you're not ready for the ritual. Well, okay. she says that your answers are elsewhere. <clears throat> are elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. All right. Like, she you, she detected the concern that he felt because yeah. of the cloud. Yeah. All right. You read this 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 stri- uh, script well like, done, a, Joe. like a book. That's impressive. The, the, it's it's really not that hard. <laughs> it's <laughs> most, yeah. I mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when it's super cliche and yeah, literally happens. nothing yeah. happens, it's easy to do. Yeah. yeah. So. Listen, if you leave now, you'll I, never defeat Vader. Like, yeah, I have yeah. so many questions about the Like, if you've given up a motion, why do you care if you do the ceremony? Or get well, he hasn't completely. Or, no, but like if it's, he it's did, in that, who would give a shit? It's in that one eyebrow. And that <laughs> when it twitches, he's like, damn it, I got to. <laughs> I got to do it. He can't give it up yet. No, but I, take Spock out of it. Yep. I'm a Klingon. Yeah. I've gone, or I'm, I'm a oh, Vulcan. You're Vulcan. Yeah. I've gone through all the things. Yep. I've sat in the desert and mm-hmm. just shit yeah. myself yeah. M- meditating, whatever yeah. he's doing. Mm-hmm. Like, you've done the ritual. Now you get your ceremonial gold medallion. I'd be like, I don't give a shit because no, I don't have emotions. The ritual's not done until you get that medallion. It has to yeah, but I don't care. No, no, but, but he wants to care. But he. 
Well, Spock does. Tony, Tony As a Vulcan, that. I don't, because I don't, because well, I don't care. Tony said that he's done all of the steps. She does yeah. up to that. the point of the symbolic thing, mm-hmm. so he shouldn't care. Yeah. Okay. I guess Tony's Why point. You know Tony's point is that being a, having an attachment to the completion of this trial. Yeah. Is an emotion. Yeah, that's kind of the hypocrisy right. in the whole system. Yeah. But, it's, but anyway, you know, it's whatever. If we stop. God damn it. <laughs> Please. We're going to be here. All right. Tomorrow. Some some bald bitch shows up on the Enterprise. <laughs> right. So, all right. He, he, he leaves. Yeah. And um, she just, this this Vulcan woman's just like, fuck it, and leaves his amulet on the ground. Yeah. Like, we're not, <laughs> like you're never going to need this. She we're, spiked that shit. Yeah, we don't need, you know, fuck it. Like, we're not going to hold this for you or anything. <clears throat> um... Cut to so 20 minutes of the new Enterprise. Yeah, cut to Starfleet. We're at San Francisco. Kirk arrives. We see this random Vulcan guy, and Kirk's like, you're a Vulcan. Vulcans are great science officers. You're going to be on my ship. you got an hour to leave. Don't worry, I'll kill you before you're in any other scene. Uh-huh. And you're a racist motherfucker. I'm terrible at science. <laughs> he's like, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Whatever. You're going to die in a transporter anyway. So, <clears throat> um, now... He gets beamed up to the space dock that the Enterprise is in to meet with Mr. Scott because the Enterprise's um, transporters aren't working. And the only reason why this happens is so we can get literally like five minutes of Enterprise porn. Like, we go we go between its legs, we go up its skirt, we're getting within oh, yeah. all the curves. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, we fly past it, turn around, fly past it again. Behind its ears. Behind it, yeah, we... You know, we take its temperature in multiple places, mm. check its prostate. Oh, yeah. Prolapse its rectum. Now, I, I guess if this were 1979 and all you ever saw was the, the series model, and now you're like, check Way this better. model. Way better. This is impressive. Oh, yeah. Sure. But yeah, like, it's nice looking, but like, come mind on. You, also, if there was commentary while this was happening that we were maybe developing the characters of Kirk and Spock, I could be like, yeah, all yeah. right, this is a good scene. Yeah. Um, but they're there making isn't. Dragon Ball Z style stares right. at this thing. Also, remember in the original Star Trek opening mm-hmm. where you got to see the Enterprise from a shit ton of different angles because it was like moving through space? Mm. Mm-hmm. We or, could see the new Enterprise when it's moving through space. Y'all. Hey, you know what? Also, might have been a good time to do this in the five minutes of nothing that we started this movie with. <laughs> yeah. You could so, show him like building it, or just show a star field. Fucking anything, yeah. anything. It literally was an like I, I want to call it an intermission, but it was the beginning of the movie. <laughs> we are almost at. Remember in pandemic where we watch him entirely park the um, the car. Mm-hmm. Birdemic. The whole process. Oh yeah. Birdemic. Yeah. The whole process. Um, we see it like the shuttle dock with the Enterprise. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, th- this is a mo- this is a Star Trek movie of we're watching the entirety of the parking now, car. And I it, like to point out this is like what forty minutes into the movie. Oh, well, we're, like, no, we're like we're like twenty five at yeah. this point. All right, um, we're when most movies would be flirting with getting out of their first act. Right, and this is flirting with getting into his yeah, first act. <laughs> It's yeah, like, we might do it. We're, <laughs> we're, we haven't even left the prologue. Yeah, this is literally we're flirting with introducing all the main characters. Yeah, yeah like the ship being one character. There's mm. like eight people in the theater that have to sit next to corpses that already killed yeah. themselves at this point. All right, so now, um, what you call it? Uh, Which smelled worse, the corpse so, or the Star Trek fan? Yeah. Scotty's like, <laughs> I mean, right, check it out. The corpses are of Star Trek fans. <laughs> Yeah, their hygiene ain't getting any better. That's not, no, no. um, I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Nothing on the ship works. This thing, we've been overhauling this thing for 18 months. That's why all the sets look different. Blah, blah, blah. You know, nothing works. Kirk's like, I don't care. We're going to take it out anyway. This is the only ship we have around Earth. Built by Boeing. No. I don't, I don't know. Like, basic, like, military readiness, you'd have. I know Starfleet's not a military, but usually you have three of a thing. So you have, like, one's under maintenance, one is at dock, and one is out doing missions. Yeah. So, you know, you can always, like, rotate things around. 
Um, At least during the Dominion Wars, and this is yeah. way later in the future from when this takes place, they had like an entire fleet just mm -hmm. around Earth, and they were doing patrols of, mm. of Soul Sector, so... So either way, Enterprise is all in they Discovery, got. In Discovery, they have a whole fleet just attacking people in a big battle scene that no one liked. Mm. So, um, he goes up to the bridge of the Enterprise. There's men standing on floating discs, and like there's a bunch of people just yelling. Everyone's in chaos. Kirk's like, "All right, I'm here. Uhura's Check there. it out." Or, yeah, we see Ohura. Yeah, um, she's there. You know, we see Chekhov, we see uh, Zulu. That is literally all that can be said about Uhura for the yeah. entire film. Mm -hmm. She's there. And, um, you know, he's like, check it out, get the whole crew together at uh, 0400 or whatever. I want to show them what we're up against. And Quick, the, that was one of the other pieces of trivia I read, was uh, the only thing to come from the old Star Trek show, aside from the people, obviously, mm -hmm. Was a Hura's earpiece yes. thing? Mm. Yep. That was it. It was, it was a, uh, but why? Because they don't. There's no like nobody <coughs> pops a tricorder in this whole film. Um, well, no Bones phasers. does once. A tricorder? Like, yeah, like a but proper... there's no. There's Not one the old style one though. No, but think. but there's there's a point where Kirk is like tricorder when oh. bald lady comes out of the sonic shower. Oh, oh all right. Oh. But I mean, I, I mean that might be like that was pretty much the only thing mm. that was left that they could still use. <laughs> I guess so. Like the tricorders were probably it, sold and because yeah. she brought it from home, mm -hmm. <laughs> possibly. Got it. <laughs> All right. She's been wearing it the entire time. <laughs> so he's like, I gotta go tell Captain Decker he's gonna be cooked for the rest of this movie. <laughs> I'm in command here, even though you know I'm an admiral. Like I would just tell the captain what his orders are and you know he would execute them uh, but he wants to sit in the comfy chair he does want to sit in the comfy chair yeah. so and it is a much more comfortable looking it chair. is definitely it's been fun. years since he got to score the yep. touchdown it's he's got to be the one that it. and and that's a theme that we act like we're going to explore for a while and then they'll <laughs> yeah um <laughs> no well we really got to get to the main meat of this yeah. plot Joe, so you know? he's like this He's cool like, oh, plot. Decker doesn't know. Literally everyone else does. This is going to be great. I'm going to engineering. I'm going <laughs> to just fuck with this dude. And, um, you know, he goes to engineering so you can see the warp core. It looks cool, I guess. He... First time you see a vertical warp core. Mm -hmm. yeah. He tells... Um, First time you see well, Decker's war vertical yeah. warp core, too. Oh, yeah, you get to see that little <laughs> that little package. He tells Decker he's in charge now. He's going to be captain. Decker's temporarily um, demoted to XO, which that's not how anything works. But, I mean, I guess it does in Starfleet, but, like... Well, I mean, the, uh, like, Kirk has yeah. pretty much always just done whatever. Yeah. So yeah. It's like, yeah. So Decker's pissed. Um, and he's like, you don't know how the new Enterprise works. I'm literally the only person who does, like... I guess everyone else just fucked off. Like Kirk's like, hey, how about you sit down, you little soy bitch? I don't care. And that, no. that's basically it. That's how he wins every yeah, argument. Pretty much. <laughs> well, the like, real thing is... What are you going to do about it? <laughs> you ha I mean, Kirk and like most of the other people he's bringing on, obviously they don't know anything about the ship. Everybody else was given the manual. Nobody fucking read it. Yeah. Decker's a nerd, so... Well, it wasn't actually a manual. It was just tech war. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this movie generally has no tone. But it gets it gets dark right here where they go to the transporter oh, yeah. room. We're like, we're getting the new Vulcan science officer. Oh, turns out we're not. And the navigator. I like they're beaming him. There's problems with the um, what you would call it, like the transporter. So Kirk's like, give me that. As we just said, he has no idea how anything works. Mm -hmm. And you just vaguely see like a like a kind of meat pile, and it goes like. Wah! I mean, he looks, he, he looks kind of like the Bat Boy from uh, mm -hmm. Weekly World News or whatever. It's not even that good. It's literally if someone just put a picture in Photoshop and did the smear tool. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But for Star Trek, it's pretty dark. It, just, it moves them down. It is, but it, it's, oh, it's, it's, it was one of the most annoying parts because I'm like, oh, my God, something might actually be happening. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, we're getting mutant freaks. That's right up my alley. This is awesome. <laughs> gotcha, <they're> bitch. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah, no, what we, you know, it was horrible on this other station that you're not looking yeah, at. We're gonna, not going to show you. Yeah, here comes Sinead O'Connor. Fuck so, y'all. Yeah, um. So now Kirk may have just killed these people, 
It's not clear. Uh, either way, they're like, oh, well, that sucks. Uh, get me a new Vulcan, and they're like, we'll work on it. Um, Decker, you have to be the science officer, too, now. Because um, there are no other Vulcans anywhere around. Yeah. Even though they were one of the founding members of the Federation. Mm-hmm. And apparently the only science officer Kirk will tolerate. Um, and they go back up to the bridge, and they're like, check it out. Yeah, we got this uh, Lieutenant Aaliyah. Um, she's one of the bald aliens, the Deltons or whatever. <laughs> whatever. She's on her way here now. They're like, okay, cool. There she is. Decker's like, we have past history. We're not going to explore it. Nope. But we got it. Nope. And um, she's she sees Kirk, and she's like, my oath of celibacy is in full effect. Yeah. <laughs> she, she read the report. You dirty old man. <laughs> Again, tech war. And you remember, because of the lawsuits, you have to stay within a, you know three feet of yeah. me at all times. What? I was told to just grab you by the pussy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she comes I'm a captain. I can do that. Yeah, they let you. Yeah. And I mean, let you do that when you're a captain. Smart woman. She comes right out the turbo lift, establishing the boundaries. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, is, so. that is smart. I mean, like, well, to be fair, that happens a lot. But usually it's just, mm. hey, you're the captain? <laughs> here's, here's my V'ger. So, <laughs> but why is she a, an alien? Because it's why not? Star Trek. Why? Yeah, it's, but she's, she's, not, she's the laziest alien. Then why isn't she a real alien? Yeah, there's because well, uh, it annoys the shit out of yeah. me. The, the, just like, think of just uh, insert a racist answer. I don't know. What yeah. to tell you. No, T- but Tony's the, right that there's no reason for her to be this lazy yeah, alien. This is the first time where they a clearly had some kind of budget. And in that big group scene, we see, like, there's one of those, whatever, where they have, like, the white wig and the antennas yep. and the blue skin. They're, there's some other weird Andorra. blue guy that looks like one of the chickpea heads from yeah. the Mos Eisley Canteen. I'm, there's, like, a, a blue and white fish man kind yeah, of deal. Yeah, we could have yeah. done any of this shit and, like, put them in any of these background yeah. characters, a main character. So no. here's the deal. They weren't going to make her an alien. But then she started talking with that accent of hers, and they're like, "We can't understand the goddamn yeah. word she's saying." But what no. are we gonna do? We're out of makeup. Just shave no. Your head. Fuck you. No. Okay. <laughs> like uh, we're out of makeup. You know what? How about we cut five minutes off the end of this fucking movie? Never. <laughs> so <laughs> pay for right. a Never. goddamn tube of red toothpaste or whatever. Shove it on her face. So. He gets the whole crew together, shows them the video of the cloud, you know, destroying the Klingons. It's not an alien. She just has cancer. Go ahead, Joe. And then um, fucking Epsilon. We get a message sent from Epsilon Station. I come from Kirk, Planet St. Jude. Yeah. yeah Kirk right. decides not to vet this at all. He's like, fuck it. Show it to the whole crew. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, let's just put this. it up on the main yep. screen. Have you ever Yo. seen Faces of Death? <laughs> when oh, we were watching, yeah. I was joking that by the end of it, he's like, all right, take it off the screen. And she, like, accidentally puts up the video of the transporter, yeah. guys. Hey, crew. <laughs> like, oh, no, what? no, sorry. Like, no, no. Crew, you want to see something fucked up? I like that this space station that's not, that's getting disintegrated, this Epsilon station that the cloud has passed, they're like, go to external view. So you get an external view From of the somewhere. station being disintegrated. Sure. External view survives. Like, the cloud moves on. Oh, yeah, like, what? yeah. yeah. What it's is not that? Gonna touch the camera, man. Yeah, no. like, <laughs> well, we find out what that's from because apparently there's a guy again just floating around the outside. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. He's going the cloud the was like, ah, is that the he's that all right, over he's fine. When he goes, um, pos- there was a guy that trips over. Sh- yeah, the oh, dude really? floats and he like yeah. hits something at the last. Day, he like, <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. I don't know if that was intentional. Yeah. That was not a guy. <laughs> That was not a guy, that's I mean, why. It was, it was a doll. Well, yes. <laughs> they dropped a doll on the camera, and they didn't so, cut quite soon enough. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so... And they filled in slow-mo, which they couldn't mm-hmm. cut for some reason. Kirk's like, no, nah, that's fine. This is what we're going up against. <laughs> yeah. This thing, it, we're just going to die. You need to watch it. You um, need to see this. No, no one worry about it. I'm out of here. All right. Don't so, worry, everybody. It's going to turn out mm-hmm. to be real stupid. <laughs> and you just hear in the theater... <laughs> <laughs> All right, he he essentially ordered for um, Disco Doctor McCoy to be pulled from the seventies against his will, yeah, and conscripted onto the Enterprise. To be fair, he was resisting going in that trailer. Oh yeah, he yeah. Was, he knew what he looked like. Banging a volleyball with a face on it. Had a big old, big old beard. He's got the bell bottoms. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's a giant gold chain. With oh yeah, a big medallion. Yeah, no, he was at the club. DeForest Kelly was attempting to. <laughs> And what, to get 
something Kirk. there. And I was elbow deep in Tang. When Kirk, you Kirk's you like, know. Bones, I need you. Well, I no, need you. Here's the other funny thing. It, weirdly, it looks like, damn it, Jim. I was just on Star Wars. It's so much better there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. You think he was trying out for uh, Billy D. Williams' role? Mm. He was trying to be Lando. We we go to um, back to the bridge, and now we're taking the Enterprise out of the space station. Like forty five minutes has gone by. We're just fucking yeah. leaving. How are you doing, we're, Chewbacca? Yeah, yeah, we're just getting to like Act Two again because these are old folks that are just yeah. going down the street in their new car, and it takes forever to do yeah. everything. I'm pretty sure the the four and a half hour extended cut of Return of the King had already gotten out of its first act by now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. So <laughs> and even if it didn't, you're much more happy oh, yeah. to be watching it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um now uh you know as as they're leaving, you finally see one of these men floating in space is actually alive and like waves at the ship, and I'm like, why wasn't that guy just the the only mm-hmm. random man floating around? You know, I believe that guy also does a flip. Yep. Maybe he might, yeah. He does a flip as the ship is exiting the dock. It's to show so, scale. That's why they had so many floating Yeah, but, but they, there's right. no consistency right. in the nope. scale, so it's, it's a huge scale, liability. Which right. is why the dude was like 30 feet tall, yeah. apparently. So, hey, he might have been. as they leave, they're mm-hmm. like, all right, take this thing into warp. Be an interesting fucking uh, alien for once. <laughs> and then, feet tall. Um, they're like, all right, let's just throw science out the window to do something exciting. And they're like, this isn't exciting. Basically, they go into warp. The screen gets blurry. Everyone's talking in slow motion because oh, that's what this movie needs. I forgot. They're and in a wormhole. They're in just a random wormhole because the warp's out of balance. And they're flying and right they towards created them. the wormhole. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Which, okay, there are dangers to operating this machinery out of balance. Okay. You know, that's fair. You know, there's some stakes. But, like, the asteroid's just there. And they're like, I'm just... I like, got stuck. Can we again? Know, in then, my head, I'm picturing William Shatner behind the wheel, and he's driving at about five miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, and people are like, "There's a pothole up ahead! Look out!" There's and um, he's just slowly creeping. That guy from Austin it. Powers that gets yeah. run yeah, over. Yeah, like, exactly. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> look out! Look out! Oh. So. That is the pacing okay. of this entire fucking movie. So now none of the controls work. They can't stop the warp engines, whatever, because they're like, we gotta, we gotta have some suspense. Um, Captain Kirk's like, fire the phasers, <laughs> and um, you know, uh, Commander Decker's like, <laughs> <laughs> just like that, runs over to Chekhov, has him fire a photon torpedo. Blows up the asteroid and therefore the wormhole yep. and therefore no, no, no. The, the problem. The yep. timing of that was almost the same time, but they were going to hit the asteroid before they came to sublight speed. You keep telling yourself that. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. the, the movie is. did, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'll not tell you. I also don't know why we had to wait several minutes for Decker to make his way across the, the bridge to slow-mo. tell him to uh, fire off the... Because uh... it's exciting. Yeah. And it wasn't. So then... It wasn't. That like, spoiler, Kirk, it wasn't. Kirk, Bones, and Decker have to walk to the captain's quarters. <laughs> and we spend like five minutes yeah. doing that. <laughs> Kirk's, See the whole walk. Yeah, Kirk's like, why'd you do that? Why'd you countermand my order? Decker explains himself. He's like, because the phasers don't work when you're using, you know, the blah, blah, blah. You got to use a photon torpedo. And Kirk's like, okay, that's fine. You, you did good. <laughs> Get out of here. And he's, yeah, he's like... Decker's like, permission to speak freely. And he's like, okay. And he's like, Kirk, you suck. You don't know what you're doing. You haven't <laughs> logged a space hour in years. You, you're hour. just fucking ru- going to ruin this. Grandpa, you're trying to use a computer okay. and you don't know how to use a computer. <laughs> Kirk is like, that is correct, but I don't care. Get out of here. <laughs> um, now, uh, fuck it even. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Show me how to AOL later. Oh, Sorry. Decker, t- Decker talks to Aaliyah and they're like, oh, we almost had a thing, but I had to go. And she's like, oh, I took some vows of celibacy. I guess we can't have that thing. I'm like, good. I thought you almost There's said, even that oh, I took dialogue. some vials of value. Yeah. No, she's, yeah. like, she's like, why didn't you do leave without saying goodbye? And yeah. he said, if I had, would you have been able to say it back? No. And that was the entire dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, but it's, it doesn't yeah. say what their relationship but, was. It doesn't say like, when it happened. Guess what? I can't say goodbye now either. Yeah. Like, also, we're going to hint that there's an interesting story here. Would you like to explore it? No. Would you like to watch us walk down a hallway for the next 10 minutes? All right. It's like playing Mist without clicking on anything. Yes. Oh, so, <laughs> so I, based on the way that they introduced her, everybody looked, all the guys looked like, oh, is a Delton. I'm well, guessing I mean, that. I guess. It could yeah. just be like, oh, she's hot. Yeah. I'm guessing that Deltons are known for like promiscuity or no, something I like that. No, I think she's just a pretty lady. Mm. So, one thing I forgot to point out, uh, in the f- like five to ten minutes it takes showing the Enterprise leaving the, the shipyard and just like floating around, there is a pointless shot of a man walking through a door into engineering. We don't know who this guy is, nah, why he did it. Because he wanted to be just, cool, man. To show, show off You're his like, skills. Okay. It's like, look how scary. And it's not I am. even like that's like a 10 second cut. Like, you see the whole door, like, shh. Yeah. For, and he just slips through. Yeah. Because he's cool. I guess. They, yeah. Um, nope. I think they wanted to show how dangerous the yeah. doors you are. You know what that are. reminds me of, though? What's that? The scene where they closed the, the blast doors at Hoff from mm-hmm. Star Wars. And the last but, person has to get in there. Mm-hmm. And the door sealed. Are they ripped off this movie for Star Wars? Oh, multiple times. <laughs> but but that, that, that was yeah. interesting. That was on a frozen planet where if you're not on the right side of that mm-hmm. door, you die. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, yeah, and that had, uh, like... It was related to what was going on. We're closing the door. We can't find Luke. Oh, no. He's going to be out there when it's going to oh, get I'm, cold. Like, I'm not saying that that was appropriate for them to this do. Was, I'm just yeah. saying that oh, that's, yeah. that's the way that they shot that door ceiling. Yeah. I, and I'm not aiming this at you. Yeah. I know I'm looking at you, but that's just because <laughs> there's Moving no actual right person. Let's get here. the fuck so, All right. So now, <laughs> um, where Spock McCoy's up. like, hey, uh, Kirk. You're obsessed with being a captain, and it's going to put everyone in danger. Yeah. Kirk's like, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> and I think that's pretty much the last we discuss of this uh, yeah. plot line. Yeah. Like, that's just gone now. It's a dead end. Yeah. yeah, uh, Grandpa, it's time. Yeah. You need to give me the keys. Nope. Yep. Well, they're they're working it out okay. over the course of the rest of this. They they give each other it's like books. It's not This film is full of No, it's, story, it's on camera. Uh, it's just yeah. like. Potentially too too subtle. Yes, it's it's very subtle and slowly spread out for the next mm-hmm. two hours of the film. Yes. <laughs> By which point you're already emotionally numb. Yes. So you're, you're not picking up on any kind of cue. Also, spoiler alert, by the time he's like, you know what, you're right, you should be captain, he kills himself. <laughs> um, He's like, you know what, I shouldn't be here at all. So, all right, now... um. A shuttle shows up and does this pointless thing where it's like, I'm going to split into two shuttles. And then do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Dock with you. Deploy a Spock. And then you see it's just going back to its engines. You're just like, why is that your design? Like, (laughs) Well, because it wouldn't have been able to dock with the ship with the, the nacelles on it. But why? why didn't you just arrange that in a way that it can? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> would have been you less know what? epic and cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. Amazon developed weirdly over the years. So <laughs> that's what we got. That's and, what's going to be showing up at your door soon. And I'd wager it'd look cooler model wise if maybe this thing pulled up and you see like the arms connecting to the cells were like actuated and it could point. The, that would be cool. The pod but, part where it needs to go. It also would have been way over. Way budget. too much glue. Yeah. No, but that again, the real reason is because as we've already discussed, we have 20 minutes of a movie and we need yeah. to fill out time. So the guys who made the models can do some cool shit. So let yep. them do it. So now um, Spock's here. He's got no time for anybody. He's oh. like, emotions he's like whatever even though he's dressed for a ren fair mm-hmm. i'm gonna go get the warp engines working um because i'm spock yeah so he, they worked on it for 18 months he said well they were uh refitting parts and reinstalling okay, things he gets his ship fixed it's almost in like three completely months. redesigned the ship yeah they they hadn't um Scotty does say they hadn't gotten to the point yet where they were going to test anything. Yeah, and well, figure. he's also like, uh, yeah, Scotty, isn't this your job? Like, <laughs> one job that you do? 
<laughs> but then Scotty was also like, hey, can I run a test before we do this? And Kirk's like, yeah, no, we all oh, got time. For yeah, to be fair, Kirk's like, isn't this your one job? And he's like, yeah, it was my one job to get this ready two months from now, jackass. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's like like at work when like your manager's like, put away this pallet. Like, then walks around the aisle and, like, comes out the other end of the Why didn't you put the pallet away yet? That's your job. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so, now, um, what you call it? We're, we, we can warp. You know, we can transport people. The ship's working fine. We're done stalling. We got the whole no, crew. <laughs> Let's go. Um, and... Spock tells uh, Kirk and Bones that he was uh, he was ready to purge his emotions and he sensed a powerful presence and he was like, I, I got to leave Vulcan. I got to be here. So, um, you know, recommission me as an officer and I'll, uh, you know, I'll help you find this cloud thing. Um, but the cloud, like it's right there. Red alert. We got to go to the bridge. Um, the cloud's scanning them and Kirk's like, don't scan the cloud back. It thinks that that's a threat. Um, don't do the shields or anything. Uh, and, you know, Decker's like, we should get in a defensive posture. We should do all this stuff. And Kirk's, he's charging up the PowerPoint like he's going to bring the thunder down. He's like, why would you say that? And he's like, because I'm the second officer and it's my job to offer you alternatives. And Kirk's just like, that is correct. Yeah. <laughs> good, good job. And that was a... You know, a, a, a good diffusal of a PowerPoint. So um, they and know... That's an example of what I mean by, like, they're working it out mm-hmm. over the course of the rest of the, 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 yes. the show. Yeah, thank so, you. Good job. Go back to watching Sailor Moon. <laughs> a big problem that's going, that this movie has is, there, you know, in these long stretches of time where we're just looking at a thing and watching people stare at a thing, no one's making comments, no one's making observations that they would yeah. be in real life. No one's saying anything relevant and then when they do say something about this thing that they're up against they say something that's like total bullshit like it's a 12 power energy field what does that mean everyone's mm-hmm. acting like that's Doesn't important yeah. could one person maybe say why that's important Never comes up again nope. could bones be like i don't know what that means is that yeah. bad <laughs> or someone and, be like, oh, I've never seen something that powerful before. Yeah. Or anything. Just Philip Seymour Hoffman could show up and be like, well, an F1 tornado is bad, but <laughs> yeah. like an F5 tornado is like the finger of God. There is yeah, this no, is the anus of God. Yeah. Yeah, there's no audience stand in for anything that's yep. happening yeah. here. So, but it's not even. If- I mean, near as I can tell, it's not even like if you're a Star Trek fan, you'll get it. No. This is just. Yeah. Here's some gobbledygook no, yeah, about yeah. nonsense Trek thing. Fan, you're used to this. Yeah. I, I guess. <laughs> Great. But that's, yeah. I guess, I don't know. In like oh, the next generation, oh, I felt like this would be explained to you at least to a point where you would understand yes. why it's good or bad. Yeah. Um, they'd even find, they'd explain it with other gobbledygook. Yeah. They'd yeah. find somebody to just be like, you know, whatever. This is the, the, you know, the most we've ever seen is a 1210 and blah, 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 blah. Is that, is that yeah, or and yeah. Kirk will be like, shut up, Wesley. <laughs> yeah, everybody <laughs> would just take turns slapping him, and rightly so. But I think, to be honest, I assume that after the introduction, it's yeah. like shows Enterprise from all angles, and then it just it's a, just a question mark. Yeah. We'll just Close enough. Figure it out as we go. Um, it, it's kind of like when they were going to, you know, figure out what, uh, Lieutenant Aaliyah looks like. Uh, it's just a question mark in the script. Yeah. So they're like, <laughs> uh, what does her hair look uh Yeah. Uh, just cut it off. Fuck it. Excuse me, uh, uh, Director Robert. Uh, we, we got her all set up. We shaved her head, so we're ready to put on the prosthetics. Like, what? <laughs> you <want the> prosthetics? <laughs> did you did you bring those? I I thought you I had them. Prosthetics were I, in the bed. Oh, I thought were you gonna bring? No, All right, what? No, I brought I, them from home. I oh, worked fuck. out this great storyline about Captain Kirk and and being able to finally accept that he's no longer captain, give over the captainhood to somebody else, and really learn a lesson about power sharing. That's cool. Oh, great, Use two great, pages great. of it, and then fill the rest yeah, out with listen, buddy. We only have two hours here. I'm also now picturing like one of these guys is like taking an extra spare Spock wit, uh, ear piece and trying to glue it onto Leah's head. Well, like, oh no, it keeps falling off. Just get out there. Just get out. Go, go. We're, yeah. we're rolling. And I'm guessing like, sorry, Joe. it feels like 
the way the movie begins, like whoever was editing was like, all right, I have this song. It's so long. And the intro is only this long. <laughs> He's like, I got five extra minutes of song. I don't know what to do with. Better just have five minutes of Close blanks enough. created. Yeah. But that's... You, that's this whole thing. Fails. But what you brought up a minute ago is the, the one of the most annoying parts for me is there's hints at there being a story here. Yeah. We seem to be actively ignoring it to show nothing. Un- underpants question mark profit. Like, yeah. well, to get back to the, the point, like we're heading towards this weird. It's just it's just shit. It's just a shit storm or whatever. Yeah. It's just a it thing. It is literally a shit storm. Yeah. yeah. Like I, yeah. But we're floating out towards it and they're like, oh, d- uh, we can't scan it because it'll see that that will seem aggressive or whatever or like we don't want to s- seem like we're going to attack it so let's do nothing it's fine we and then JSF we show them here, no no but but then we show them do nothing as they approach yeah. it yeah. <laughs> like fucking so, say something do something d- something yeah. could be ha- this could be a great time to bond with the with the, the captain and the yeah. And Decker to you know yeah, bond or I, something. I just really like explore the love story between Decker and the what, something, something. Do something. I just really liked my joke though. So, so what? So sorry, what? Deus Ex Spockin. Oh yes, I like that. Sorry, yeah. I do like oh, that. I kind of stuck. We don't know how to so. speak to this thing. Oh, I'd figured out how to speak to it. So this has. <laughs> I speak multiple languages, including uh, eight track. Yeah, so whatever this <laughs> fucking yeah weird El Yankovic talking robot is. So this cloud um, has an issue I have with a lot of Star Trek things where you just Always like, a cloud. It's, a, it's a god, we can't do anything to it, we have to play by its rules, we got to do this one specific thing to solve the puzzle, and it's just, it's clear from the beginning, it's like, nothing works on it. Yeah. Yep. And it, it's like, it's like you're playing in a game with the DM that didn't bother to think of why, like, your abilities won't work on the villain. So they just don't like. Um, so we have that situation here. Um, it like fires something at the Enterprise that hits it with like a Half Life One era resonance cascade that like destroys most of the shields. Chekhov goes to like divert power to the shields or something and it, like burns his hand on the console. And like, <laughs> or or as uh, I forget if it was Robert Tony pointed out, it burns his collar. Is uh. His sleeve. Set his sleeve on fire. And then the sleeve set his hand on fire. Oh, so you hurt me. So burns. So, Spock's like, okay, I figured it out. Um, we don't have fireproof it, clothing in the future. Our comms are too advanced uh, for it. Yeah. So yeah. we need to make our comms. No, no, no. He says our comms are too primitive. I'll just make them better. Right yeah, here yeah, in a couple yeah, seconds because yeah. it's firing another shot. The problem is the comms originally were like that little dinosaur piano for yeah. kids and he's just <laughs> banging the keys. So he really had to figure something out. Now he upgraded it to a saxophone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do a for Digby. <laughs> so, uh, um, and then he's going to... Now the clown's like, oh, I like, like saxophone. Piano like, later anyway. The shot that's flying at the Enterprise dissipates. It's like, you could come in. Come, come fly by. Yeah, we enter the cloud, yeah. and we see like I can dis- just I can dissipate a plasma blast. Minutes. Just for, for a quick moment, though, yeah. yeah, that is a great example of the like we're getting the second shot. It's coming at them, and as Rob kept saying while we were watching this, like you know, because it's like you know, don't do anything. We we got to communicate with them, whatever. Which thankfully does work. Yeah. I don't know how they knew that would happen, but as Rob beautifully pointed out, it's like, or we could try to move like yeah, slightly so to the left or the right, and, like just fucking anything. <laughs> I do think that this scene reminded me very much of um, uh, Space Odyssey, yeah. where he's going through the the. So you want to talk yeah. about doing nothing? Uh, oh, we've so been talking we get, about it. We get the whole, we get five minutes of like going through magic kaleidoscope time, like two thousand one. Yeah. At least two thousand one, you're like I could see the man's sanity collapsing, and you could like it's still boring, but it's like <laughs> it has a purpose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, there's there's like more of an art to it. This is pretty. It is very pretty. Mm-hmm. But it's like five minutes of something that like pick one of these and go through it. Um, you know, spend like thirty seconds on it, and it would be fine. Then we see this ship that like. The alien ship looks cool. Yeah, it's super a cool. cool. Looking ship. Great, very cool. And very high fly. tech. Very yeah. Like something, some really put it this thing together. And then we fly <laughs> over it. Out of 
physical material or, somehow. I'm that Rob see. definitely watched and did not fast forward <laughs> through any of it. I've been saying five minutes, like, you know, evaluate. This, this was at least five minutes, if not more. Yeah. Um, yeah, that felt like about five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they fly over this this ship so forever. Yeah. Like, Which, again, it, it's what they make fun of in Spaceballs, where Spaceball 1 comes yeah. by in the beginning. And they're making fun of Star Wars with that, too. Yeah. But, like, again, yeah, Star Wars had a purpose. But that's the thing. Yeah, again, we could have dialogue here. Yep. We could have, like, the, oh, the, yeah. what they're, we're seeing could be relevant for something yep. later. All, none of this. None of this. The, it's pretty, but it doesn't mean shit. Fucking, um... Uh, Mr. Sulu is making like Dragon Ball Z like uh, uh, faces at this thing. Yeah. No one's saying like anything that matters at all during and, this. And no. this is just the first of several yeah. of these scenes we're going to get. Oh, this, this isn't the first. And you're right. well, it's no. not the last. <laughs> but I, well, I don't know. Because, yeah, I guess the, the wormhole. Well, that doesn't mean yeah. we have to talk about all. So definitely not. Please don't. You're like, OK, like this was looking cool, but like we're done. Like just yeah. stop. We get it. The yeah. ship's big. We get it. You've encountered yeah. some advanced alien mm-hmm. species. Show us, show us a couple glamour shots of some cool parts of a model you made. Show us. Then your show tits. us one shot of the big ass model away with the Enterprise being real tiny, so that you're like, okay, it's fucking huge. Yeah. Then we can get to the main plot point of this movie, which is breaching anuses right. or <laughs> breaching sphincters. Well, it's, like, I mean, yeah, it's, it looks there's more two like, orifices um, you have to get through in this if film. If you go to a ren fair or a craft fair, mm-hmm. you're gonna get the little uh, leather coin purse that yeah. that, that f- kind of folds up in the same way. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You like squeeze it, and it like opens up just yep. like the anus in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you get your you get your little coins out. Keep going. You get your little right. fingers so in there. So they fly up to the ship's ass because they fly completely over it. <laughs> get your fingers in that feature. Yeah. yeah, loop get around. Get feature, man. Um, and it fires a probe aboard. In this probe, you're gonna spin on them first. It's one? just a column of Hot plasma, blood. and it's like, and it goes over to the computer. It's like shooting lightning at it. Everyone's like, "Fuck, Spock's Spock's plan." He, like, takes Decker. He's like, can you move aside for a second? Just fucking shatter smash the keyboard. He's like, fuck, you can't get this computer. This thing's like, you know what? I don't need this computer. I'm going to fire lightning at you for, like, two minutes of just zapping. It, it's like Emperor what? Palpatine over here zapping Luke. Uh, except not not cool at all. Then it it's like, hey, Aaliyah, you're not doing anything. <laughs> it disintegrates now her. you're really not doing yeah, anything. She's fucking toast. And then it's like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> um, and, you know, everyone's like, did that just happen? <laughs> also, again, why Aaliyah? Yeah. D- is, it because, is it because she's a, uh, what, was it a deltoid or whatever? Sure, she's a deltoid. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and they, they're they related. She's not an original Star Trek. Yeah. Well, no, I know. Well, but, I mean, like, th- you could have been like, you know, she's, she's related to the machines. Yeah. She's part machine. She's... Fucking anything that makes sense of why it chose her. Tony, I, I'm not going to spoil the ending of this film, but mm-hmm. I'm just going to say, Tony, the ending of this film. Yeah. All right, so now <laughs> it's like, all right. Fuck common sense. I've disintegrated your woman. She's all right. I'll pull you into the first orifice. So, like, the first anus opens up. <laughs> your sacrifice you was accepted. Into, like, this is, this is quite pretty. Like, it's a, it's an awesome-looking chamber. They had to right? pay the troll toll if they wanted but to get in like, that boy's hole. All right. We don't need to be flying into it. Like, we don't need to see the entire progression into it. It's like, yeah, wow. It must have taken a long time yeah. for whoever to build this very well, elaborate... everyone is saying nothing. By the way, a good portion of the last hour of this movie is going through these different portals and yeah. whatever, and I still don't know what the fuck we're seeing. Like, at one... Point, I think uh, Spock goes through like a whole galaxy that so, I guess is just inside this. I have explanations for a lot of that. Oh boy, I, I can't wait. What I put in my notes at this point is I put they are trapped in this ship's ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's, that's it. They're in the rear of the ship. They went up its butt hole. And like it pulled them in and then closed the door behind them. And yep. They live there now. Yeah. So um, now. 
intruder alert. That's okay. In they the officer's quarters. fire a chalupa and they yeah. get shot right back. Yes. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have shot. joined up with the USS yeah. Lemmy Winks. For no reason, they're like, uh, Tanner Leah, yeah, we'll send her back without clothes, of course. Taking a sonic shower. Well, they put Kirk's her in the like, shower. Yeah. What? Wait, that. What? 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 I t- oh. This, I don't know. I, I got nothing. Um, uh, Kirk has, de- has it yeah. set up that all women transported aboard the Enterprise are transported directly to his yeah. shower. That's, Kirk's that's like, not like technology. That's like a, a, a pagan ritual he did yeah. to make sure oh, that yeah. happens. Oh, yeah. Regardless. It is not in the handbook. Um, that is so, against Prime Directive. Kirk's like, don't worry. I'll handle this. He hits some buttons yeah, and like beams onto hands. her a robe that only just covers her crotch and her, some high her heels. Her Yeah, her, her V'ger and, her and some high heels. Yeah. Well, he was huh. testing her, you yeah. see. So, because if this was the real Aaliyah, she, she would have, have asked repeated, for pants. Yeah. She would have oh. repeated that my, my oath of celibacy is on record. So, oh, so. He's testing the waters to see if yeah. it's cool uh-huh. now. Uh-huh. Well, that's it. Yeah, he's like, is this fuckable? <laughs> yeah. McCoy, <laughs> try quarter. Yeah. He wants to make sure. Well, yeah, because he wants to make sure. This is a, the, there's no yeah. tentacles hanging down there. There's no, <laughs> no he's cool with excessive that. pubes mm-hmm. hanging down yeah. there. You know, you don't want those hanging down below the shirt line. Well, he doesn't. He's st- he might be cool with that, but he still wouldn't be surprised. Mm-hmm. So, like. Decker and Spock are kind of like, what's going on here? And Lieutenant Aaliyah's like, Lieutenant Aaliyah no longer functions. You are now speaking to Beejer. Awesome. It's, Dibs! Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's so, the 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 voice. Yeah, it's bad. So she, it's this actress who has a thick accent, mm-hmm. and then they put like a voice synth over that, and it sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to be small mm-hmm. wonder. Okay. And she's got a pink jewel tracheotomy. <laughs> yes, she does have one of those like like a little uh I don't I don't remember what toy from the eighties mm-hmm. it was, but some shit that would light up when it would talk. Yeah, right? It's a butt plug. Like if you she's got a butt plug in her throat. You yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you can find out what element she is. <laughs> yeah, you can find if she's an Autobot or Decepticon yeah. if you hold the line. <laughs> oh. She's one of those visionaries or So Yeah. Uh, most butt plugs if you rub them you find out what they're really funny. <laughs> That's true. true. If you rub them, yeah. Find out who what allegiance right. you're working with. So, but yeah, like she just she, she is unintelligible. So this thing just straight up killed Aaliyah and replaced her. Yeah. With a robo pro. With a robot. Like, oh, that's right, cool. Sucks to be her. <laughs> yeah. Um, it must be a really advanced so, alien technology to be able to create like, manufacture an android like that. Yeah, they're like McCoy. Go give her a physical examination. She's like, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, he's he's like, like, well, it like, help yeah. us help you if we could understand yeah. you. She's like, fine. So she goes to sick bay. They examine her and they're like, so she's like a copy of Aaliyah, but she's like a really sophisticated <clears throat> robot. She's got no V'ger. But yeah, you also see at this point that um, mm-hmm. she's still this robot still has kind of feelings for Decker. And, you know, Decker, of course, still has feelings for her. She calls him Decker instead of Decker unit. Mm-hmm. Um, that's right, because you're referring yeah. to everyone else's carbon uh, carbon units. The Kirk unit yep. and the Spock unit um, and the G unit. So now, <laughs> the G unit. <laughs> they're, they're like, all right, let's leave the room and go, no, go sorry, talk about unit. what we're going to do next. She's fucking Kool-Aid man. He's <laughs> through the, the door. <laughs> what yeah. is the point? Is that supposed to be the, like, the big laugh of the movie or like, oh. what? Oh. It doesn't make any sense. Like, she has all of this person's memories. Like, she knows how to use doors and shit. No, they locked it. Yeah. Yeah, they were trying to keep her out, and she was like, fuck that. I'm part of this. Yeah, like they would do in Small Wonder. Yes. So she knows, like, that Captain Kirk's the one in charge. She needs to deal with Kirk's like, check it out. You're going to deal with Decker, because I think you guys got a bond, and I think that would be better. She's like, fine. Decker's like... Let's go to the recreation room. Let's go play some triangles. Let's go play with Deckers. Decker. Play with the, the rectangle game. Aaliyah's like, uh, like she's about to pop out. She, you know, the memories are coming back because it's like this rectangles was her favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I point this out while we were watching it because uh, 
My dumbass assumed the movie would be over when I got there, and I got to watch this part fucking twice. Mm. Uh, but I'm yeah, like, well, so did we. This is a <laughs> learning, it feels like it anyway. This is a learning machine that's trying to learn everything. And it just looks at this game of rectangles. It's like, this has no point. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're just like, what the fuck? Um, so she reveals that um, when she's done learning everything there is to learn, she's just going to scan the ship and reduce it to data packets. And just disintegrate. By the way, she just she assumes that of all people too. She's just like that you're a carbon being, so I don't care. Yeah, you can you're expendable. Like you not you're not gonna ask questions. You're not gonna try and learn any. Nope. Just, no, no. Decker important. is flat out Fuck like it. this ship needs the carbon beings to function, and she can't even try to hypothesize like. Oh, you guys are a part of the technology that drives this machine ship thing. She's just like, no, that can't be true. No. Um, that would be silly. Yeah. Come on. So now we get this scene How would where Spock's like, I'm taking the initiative. I'm going to lift your skirt. I'm going to sneak into this room and force this, this, uh, the scene, th- there's a guy with like a 70s porn stash. Spock yeah. touches oh. him and makes him orgasm. Gives him the old oh. Vulcan nerve pinch. The guy just that sound blows sound. his load in his pants and oh. like descends down. And Spock like rides him down and you're like, camera, you got to pan down. Yeah. I have to know that that did not just happen. Well, you just hear. Oh. Yeah. And then, oh. And you're like, scene over. And you're just like, no. Yeah, you, you do see the live long and prosper yeah. hand come up after. Yeah. Either. <laughs> you he just know, reaches oh, over yeah. the counter and grabs a handful of condoms. Yeah. <laughs> if two consenting adults. Or bottle lube. Want to do stuff. That's fine. What I don't want to see is you implied that Spock just raped this man. Yeah. And then just move on like nothing happened. Because here's the thing. Yeah. I can't quit you. Yeah. You could have shown him, give him the pinch. Yeah. The guy goes, show him, give him the pinch. Yeah. <laughs> we could have panned out. You could have seen him like, you know, making sure he yep. gently gets to the ground without getting hurt. Mm-hmm. We don't do that. No. Or. For the love of God, since this is two hours of nothing, you could have shown him just, get, you know, give him oh, the, 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 the <laughs> no, but give him the pinch. The guy's like, ugh, and done. We yeah. cut out of there. <laughs> no, instead, like you said, yeah. we got to see gotta him well. get this creepy look, yeah. reach over, <laughs> grab the guy, and slowly take yeah. him down below camera it where really, you can't really, see what I'm doing. It really did look like he was going to give him an inappropriate massage. And he <laughs> did. <laughs> we did. Don't, don't forget, yeah. we spend about 10 seconds watching. This man go through every stage of arousal. Yeah, <laughs> judging by his face, he hit his fun button. <laughs> oh. So, okay. Now Spock's just floating out in space. Oh, yeah. yeah. His plan is like. Oh wait, that was Vija, right? He what? was. He wasn't or whatever because he would. That it, this wasn't like a metaphor. He wasn't just floating towards like a guy's butthole, right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> it didn't explain it very well. Yeah, oh, well, it could. It could have been like there a could be a metaphor. deeper meeting here. <laughs> also, that was the deeper. real Spock and yep. not just a, a metaphor for a sperm, right? I don't know. But if what if there's like a data lore situation where that's a different Spock? That's like oh. <laughs> that Spock's brother that feels all the emotion. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a serial oh. serial man if raper. All the emotions I mean, are horniness and rage. Yeah. 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 Actually, th- that's a thing, isn't it? Because Spock has a brother that's all like... It's not that he's a brother. It's a parallel universe. Uh, you might what? be thinking of something different, but I'm not aware of him having... His name is Cross. Well, all right. All right. So I'm not talking about evil Spock with a goatee, mm. but... Yeah, yeah. I could have sworn... Yeah, nah, that's whatever. the one that I'm thinking Doesn't of. matter. Moving on. Um, oh, yeah. At this point, we do... We, we learn that V'ger's after the creator... But V'ger doesn't know what the creator is. Um, and and V'ger won't say what it is either. It says, like, I seek the creator. What's the creator? That's the thing that I seek. And yeah, and you're like, shots. motherfucker, it's if you gave us any more information, we could have skipped it doesn't with the movie. The yeah. movie completely. Yeah. And also to go back to the thing you were talking about before with the I'm a learning computer, but I don't want to learn. Like, yeah. It's like, I want the creator. Well, I'm the creator. No, you're not. How do you know? 
know. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Uh, okay, you're not. All right. Well, Has okay. anyone you ever know. claimed to be the creator before? Uh, yeah. yeah. No. Pilcher, well, then I must uh, be the creator. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. logic your ass into the ground. Oh God. All right. So this, now, this, <laughs> this is reminding me of that argument with Kirk Cameron. Mm-hmm. Like, so which one? <laughs> the, you know, oh, God's real because bananas. What? <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Is there a crocodile? No. What? I don't. I mean, how? It might be. How? Yeah, well, there might have been a crocodile God. in that crowd earlier. Yeah, I mean, I see. yeah maybe right. a crocodile might be a crew member here. But anyway, <laughs> no, um, that'd be awesome. I think so one Spock. Of the Lake Placid sequels. This is Spock's plan. He gets a rescue suit that has one like thruster that's like full bore, ten second burn, and that's all you get. Mm-hmm. Not like you know, he's got a little fly around like impulse power on his suit. But why is there just this, um, like, I'm going to shoot you once, Thruster, but I have no means of stopping you? Also, like, does that mean they're carrying, like, rocket fuel on the ship just for this? Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, so Spock's sure. plan is he's he's going to point himself also, at... apparently it's a disposable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. At this sphincter thing that's pulsating a little bit in just enough manner to be suggestive. And he's like... At the right time, I'm going to fire my thruster in just 10 <laughs> seconds of unaborted thrust. Just straight up. What, what would you have done if, like, he thrusts forward and, like, before he gets there, just a champagne cork of shit comes out? <laughs> just, <laughs> anni- so just annihilates him. You know what? <laughs> Based on the rest of this movie, I would have stood up and given him a standing ovation because fucking something's happening. Right, just like, so he... <laughs> yeah. I also would have liked him. He's like, I gotta time this just right, and he's watching it pull, and then just a little. Yeah, I know what that pulse means. <laughs> like a like fucking that's, yeah. space yeah. info. Oh, wait, the little toot. That's my opening. <laughs> it's dilating. Yeah, All right, so now he makes it. They've already penetrated the rectum. Now he's like up. <laughs> Pucker in, up, buttercup. He's up into the colon. And um, inside the colon of this thing is like the entire universe. Verse. He's just flying yeah. through like oh, planets yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. For what? what? It's, it's pretty, but like... It's it's just, you've done too much showing us pretty things like do yeah. something. Yeah. It's pretty, but it's pointless. Yeah. Like everything else here. So it's got to it's got to well, be the result of like the highest techno- technological minds. It's it's showing you that everything that it's destroyed isn't really destroyed. It's stored in memory because mm-hmm. all of the stuff that you're seeing is stuff that it's effectively so, digitized. Oh, it just destroyed the gold chunk of the universe yeah, on the way. Yeah, exactly. Here. Well, here's the thing. It's just gone. Yeah. I didn't get any of that, so they did a terrible job. <laughs> yeah, they did. I mean, we're talking over it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you guys were doing for the first half, but we were pretty much just constantly complaining about how boring it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, I, 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 but I'm sure that's a gonna... problem with your movie. If the person doesn't yes. want to yeah. pay attention, you're doing something wrong with your movie. So, all right, he flies through that, a bunch of stuff. That's a terrible way to do it. He basically decides that... Viger is a giant living machine, and he mm-hmm. finds a gigantic Aaliyah, cosmic floating Aaliyah memory. Another what? another um, space Aaliyah odyssey. Yeah. yeah. And he touches her her pink tracheotomy. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> you know, and decides to mind meld it. Whoa. And he just goes like... <laughs> and, um, His head exploded. Kurt's like, all right, I got this figured out. Spock... It, it won't be long before that thing just shits him back out. I'll yeah. be here to catch him. I'll just wait. And sure enough, what? It's like a, and there's a little Spock. <laughs> it works. Like, I don't know why, but it works. I'm, I'm glad that it decided to throw him back at a gentle velocity. It did a, uh, a Spock tour. Yeah. And, the, yeah. <laughs> and not the velocity wow. that entered the orifice no. at, because that would have been pretty terrible. Yes. So yeah, Spock to a spin on that thing. <laughs> kept, and, kept the jetpack though. Now Kirk's like a dumbass is just standing there holding an unconscious spot, trying to talk to him <laughs> through space. Yeah. <laughs> then we just cut to sick face. Spock's on board. It's like, oh, he can't hear me, so he takes yeah. Spock's helmet off. <laughs> you know that is an interesting thing though. I wonder what? if he, if they touched helmets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't let don't this go, yeah. but I'm giving it more on. There's a high probability there are like some kind of 
comms yeah, yeah, in there? No, I'm, I'm just thinking like <laughs> the physics of it. If you're talking in a space helmet that has an atmosphere in it, didn't I say that? Yes. You're vibrating against the helmet, and yep. if the helmet touches the other helmet, would it vibrate across to the other helmet? Oh, you guys touch tips and see if it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, mine will just envelop his. <laughs> so, um, now Spock's like, like all right, this thing comes from a world of living machines with advanced technology. So we're all just like Cybertron? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cybertron. Cybertron. yeah it comes from a world. Yeah, obviously. Like, yeah. A, a highly technological, advanced world of living machines. Yeah. The, the all spark, the all yeah, spark. Yeah, that's that's what's so, definitely yeah. happening here. The but all the, spark. Oh, unlike it, Cybertron, they don't know anything about emotions, right. so they're <clears throat> making all these wrong conclusions. We, because apparently, as we find out, it's a it's a baby Cybertron. Yeah. Right. It still needs to grow up. Right. So it's it's like a like a kid Unicron. Cyber baby mm. boo boo. Yeah. Or, well. No, right. if I so remember, that was the right, Matrix Center in Thor? Junior Cron. Um, yeah. My Transformers lore, Unicron and Cybertron are both basically, they're not the same entity, but they're like the same like type of entity. Like, they're brothers. They're yeah. brothers, yeah. yeah. Okay. So Cybertron, if it wanted to, could transform into a giant robot. Correct. So, in some iterations, yeah. Yeah, that is, yeah. Yep. Okay. So anyway, um, now uh, <clears throat> the, sti- the ship's reached Earth. It got rid of the cloud. It's... You know, trying to signal the creator, and um, it's signaling by radio. And they're like, radio, what's this thing doing? It's getting no response. So V'ger's immediate conclusion is like, all right, I'm just going to wipe out all the life on Earth, because that's what's that's the problem. That's keeping me from uh, getting to the creator. Got to eradicate the infection. So Spock's like, all right, this thing's a child. We have to treat it like a child. And so Bones is like, what do we want to do, spank it? And they're like, we're still doing that in the 24th century? <laughs> wow. uh, Bones and, and Kirk certainly yeah. are. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> you saw that outfit he showed up Definitely in. Decker. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, Kirk realizes, he's like, all right, this thing is a dumbass. Check it out. He's like. I know the information you want, but I'm not going to tell you if you kill everybody. Yeah. you got to take me to V'ger. I can't just tell you. It's things like, all right, I'll take you to V'ger, but I ain't recalling my shit. So if you don't cough up the information, I'm still killing everybody. Kirk's like, damn. <laughs> but I guess this is better than where we were. So now... Hey, throw me the whip. No, hand me the idol. I'll throw you the whip. Uh, I hate you all. So now they go to like... Um, again, this looks cool. It, they, they're like, the ship just... Pulls up to like a spontaneously appearing landmass of like hex tiles. Sure. And I like how it starts off as like a smooth, like linked together thing at the, like the crater. And then as it branches out, it's more like broken up and weird. That doesn't mean anything. No. No. Um, but I, I just <laughs> it doesn't like even make yeah. sense if you yeah. think about it for yeah, more it than should a second. Be, <laughs> yeah, it should be perfect. Well, or. Yeah. Or one could argue not there at all, because this whole premise is fucking stupid as oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, before that happened though, that uh, Viger opened up its second orifice. Now they're they're like flying through its colon. Yeah, we're just yeah. going through all yeah. kinds of orifices. Now we're we're done with getting through orifices. We are full now, fourth meal. Right yeah, now. we've reached. <laughs> yeah, we've reached Viger's core. We're balls deep in now. And we just oh, yeah. so they it's help. just making an atmosphere. So they literally just. A platform comes out of the Enterprise saucer, and it's just Kirk, Bones. They just walk on top uh, of it. Spock and Decker and Viger just walking out of the it's Enterprise. Like, it's like there's a door in the yeah, like in the say, uh, in the S. They did say like it was, the deck it's making something. atmosphere and it's making gravity. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. But like as Rob pointed out, when we were watching this. There's some huge scale issues here. Like, like they have no idea. They they look like they're like you know <clears throat> taller than the saucer itself. <clears throat> like they're like you know. 20, 30 feet tall, but I don't know. It's got to be even more than that. Like, the saucer saucer has to be, like, just the outer edge of the saucer. Like, how many decks are in the saucer itself? Do we even know? There's not not that many. I think there's, like, a total of nine decks. Okay, but that's at least, what, 90 feet? Well, let's assume that. Yeah, it it should be. One, the outer ring is just one deck, and it goes up in decks as it gets more toward the core. Okay. Because, you know. Even then, that's still got to be like twenty or thirty feet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But either way, all right, we we're, we're already, you know, we got to get to a to an even bigger. Yeah, lockdown. no one mentioned so, the ship. <laughs> they walk across a hex map mm. and they find V'ger. 
Vijer. Oh. And you look at Vijer, and you're it's like, just some Indian guy. Oh man, <laughs> it's the fucking Voyager crew. Yeah. And what happened is someone like some space schmutz landed on the nameplate, so it covered the O Y A. So it's just B B G E R. Yeah. Vijer, and you're like. Motherfucker. I think at this point Rob was hitting himself in the head with the remote. <laughs> so the Voyager probe. Voyager Voy- 6. Voyager 6. Voyager 6. Yeah. Somehow gained sentience. Mm-hmm. Well, it was sent out into space. Mm-hmm. It apparently landed on the real Cybertron. It went through a black hole. Yes. It, where it went through a black hole. It landed on the mm-hmm. real Cybertron. Came on a white hole. Where they started to upgrade it. And it's. When? Who said this? This is all just said. <laughs> this is all just said yeah. because yeah. God forbid Wait, we actually they show did this say shit. This? Yeah, yeah, they, they said say that. This. Yeah. When did he say this? I don't remember. Oh, all that shit, shit during the end. When, <laughs> we were, yeah. I'm literally hitting. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right. You either didn't hear it because you were hitting yourself in the head, or you heard it and forgot it because you hit yourself <laughs> I mean, in the head. Very well yeah. I think Rob's coping mechanisms, <laughs> like shields, were up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, they but they yeah. hypothesized as it was launched three hundred years. Well, the they past. hypothesized. Yeah. Well, they that. know it was launched 300 years ago. No, no, I get that. But apparently it went through a black hole. Came sure. out a white it, hole it, on the <laughs> other side of the universe. Yes. It landed on the real Cybertron. They dis, they they accepted it as a, a like, Who's basically the, the Cybertronians, Yo, I guess. Advanced machine and, and where are they? I, I can only. On the other I, side of the universe. Yeah. None or, of them are on this giant ship. No, no, they're either on the other side of the universe or possibly have been downloaded. Is that a thing? That is possible. Yep. Uh, but from what I can guess, or from what I can gather from this, right. apparently the movie we didn't see is these Cybertronians had. Don't hit yourself in the head again. You got to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a whole thing of Encino Man where they took this thing in as an early cave person as one of their own. They upgraded it and made it so it started absorbing all knowledge in the universe. They have no emotions, so they had nothing to do. They were just like, fuck it, I guess. We'll, Are you sure? <laughs> this. we'll send this thing back to it's- Earth. It's a machine. We got to make sure it can fulfill its mission. Yeah, yeah. its mission is to send knowledge back to the creator. Yeah. So it took it all literally. So it is literally going around downloading the entire universe into itself and trying to bring it back to the creator, which is yep. some Rob is guy trying from to NASA. give himself a yeah. lobotomy. Possibly. With the that's the again. That's why it's weird because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I guess it just knows mm-hmm. to the creator is whoever gives them these. Codes, but even and when they that, get the codes, they say is "fuck when you that." Hear the last shot and the thud. <laughs> <laughs> so we um, I I looked up during this scene. I'm like, what is on the the record inside Voyager that they? It's like music. There's a, there's so yeah, so there's there's, some... there's greetings in 55 languages, yeah. um, and then it is just sounds yep. of like stuff going on on Earth. Yeah, whale sounds and birds yep. and whatever. But yeah. it's not. Like it does, Music. it has like pictograms to show you how to use a record player, yeah. like like IKEA instructions basically. And isn't that like uh, David's? Uh, not David's. Uh, Carl Sagan was like the one. Da of the Vinci's big guys in it. Uh, man on there too. Yeah, like, there's oh, the I the, the Vesu- Vesuvian man. Yeah, Vitruvian. 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 Um, yeah. yeah, and there's uh, yeah. like. A whole bunch of different songs. So anyway, I skibbity toilet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it might. God, could you imagine if we launched it today? What the fuck would be on there? <laughs> it's just like awful. what it WAPs just... go? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, our that's legacy, fucking... baby. Yeah. Um, I mean, but... twerking instructions from Megan the Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Fucking hell! <laughs> like Drake paid money to put a diss track in there. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole universe knows how much he hates to work with the other guy. Kendrick Lamar. With. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, put it all together and it'll all be outdated before the lo- <laughs> uh, rocket even launches. Just covered in corporate sponsors. Yeah, it would oh, just yeah. literally just be a Taylor Swift album they what? just send up there. And like two and hours Beyonce. of commercials. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For, for, I, do, I do love the idea somewhere out there there's an alien that has to watch 45 minutes of commercials to get a high from Earth. Yeah. I can't skip like, the ad. Wh- wh- 
Hello yes. and welcome from Earth. We're hoping to uh, find you and to share knowledge. Yeah, that's the disaster movie. The aliens come back to Earth. They're like, I want to buy all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if Val Stinkton is right for me. I don't have a primary care physician. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they start attacking all of us to get Coca-Colas, and we're like, whoa, didn't you get our message of peace? Yeah. Like, I didn't stay through the credits. Yeah, that's how <laughs> Mars attacks yeah. happen. So basically, they're like, we'll just activate Voyager. It's got a transmission thing. You know, it'll transmit its data, and we'll prove that we're the creator. Uh, Voyager's like, fuck that. I'll melt the wires. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So again, I want to meet the creator. Again, <laughs> it's fucking things like I I want to find the creator. Where's the creator? Bring me the creator. I want the creator. It's, and then we're like, hey, we're the creator. And it says, fuck you. I'm yeah. gonna cut my ears off so you can't tell me that shit again. It's basically, to Kirk, it's like I don't know what lies are. I don't know what emotions are. But I know that you are yeah. not. The creator. Yeah, I don't know what lies are. I don't know what emotions are. I don't know what the creator is. But Fuck you are not it. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> so Decker's like, yo, I really want to fuck this machine. <laughs> Machine's like, yeah, yeah, I want Decker. So Decker's like, all right, I'm going to merge with it because it needs a human presence. God, what if we just sent Reddit up there? <laughs> and so Decker runs over. The aliens would nuke us immediately. <laughs> and just. Eh, Decker's kind of like Tumblr. They turn to, to light. And just merge together and... Uh, yeah, into like something. Yeah, he quantum twice. leaps into this fucking thing. Yeah, at that point, the, even the writers are like, I can't do this. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, what do we do? How do we end yeah. this? How do we end it? So they run if, back to the Enterprise. If we stretch this any thinner, it's going to fall apart. Yo, yeah, and the plot has literally been so stretched thin that Beecher just dissipates <laughs> yes. into nothing. And that's that's how the problem's solved. It's, it's yeah. gone. Yep. And so now... Kirk's like, like Spock's like, I'm not going back to Vulcan. I'm going to stay here. Kirk's like, well, captain's dead. Guess I'm the captain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not dead. Missing. Missing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Uh, also, not no. the captain. Never the captain, because I took over immediately. Yeah, no casualties on my well, watch, You want to wait for, um, for orders there, sir? Nah, just just go that way. He yep. literally says, <laughs> just, just go, go that, that way. Yep. Just waves his hand. And then, oh, there. Oh, you know, there. we get a, like, a glory shot. You want to go back Enterprise. and get some of all the shit that's broken fixed? Nah. 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 Yeah. We, we get a glory shot of the Enterprise just fucking off. And then it says the, the human adventure is just beginning. And then the credits roll. Except there's no human life in left in the theater. Yeah. <laughs> Just a pile of corpses. If, if you're lucky, like, the, the few that left to ask for a refund, like, they survive. Yeah. Well, now the crew has to go in to drag the bodies out and, and wipe down the guns to put on the seats for the next show. Yeah, the next <laughs> Just reload it with the one bullet. Please take your 3D glasses and your suicide <laughs> And that's Star Trek, the motion picture. Oh, heavens. Oh, oh goodness. So that was Star Trek, whatever the hell we just watched. Uh, the motion picture. How did Rotten Starfields think about this film? Oh, it's so good. Uh, no, uh, so yeah, on RottenTomatoes.com, uh, critics gave the score of 53, audience gave this a score of 42. I mean, the, that's obviously more a modern view of it. I don't know what they thought back then, but yeah, that's uh, their thoughts and opinions. What about you and yours, Rob, before it frays from your brain? Uh, well, it already has. Um, so uh, this movie... Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it is gone. gone. <laughs> uh, this movie that did like the cardinal sin of movies for me, and I've, I've mentioned this already, but I can handle bad movies. I have no problem with bad movies, but I cannot abide boring movies. Yeah. And this movie is boring as fuck. <laughs> and I, I legitimately hated it. Like, it was not even fun to make fun of, really. Uh, and it was a little bit. But <laughs> but for the most part, I was just like, I don't think I've ever been more tempted to check the remaining runtime in almost anything else we've done. You did it done. multiple times, too. I know. Mm. <laughs> uh, and that so, was him restraining himself. This was, this was awful. Uh, 
it did not feel like two hours. It felt like legitimately felt mm-hmm. like four hours. Um, and I don't recommend it. I don't like it. Uh, the dice is not there. It's on top. I was trying to make it easier. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's my thoughts and opinions for me and mine. All right, Joe. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the scores are about what I would give it somewhere between the, the 52, 42. Um, this is clearly like an hour long Star Trek episode stretched into a movie. I think it, it actually is like a, a Star Trek. Very, very likely. Script that just got stretched out <clears throat> given a bigger budget. But I mean, I'm talking like hour long episode with like. 10 to 15 minutes of that being commercial. Yeah, you're talking like 40 minutes. Yeah, like <clears throat> nothing friggin' ha- I mean, stuff happens, obviously, but like I'm being, like there's a bit of hyperbole there, but it, it is diluted so much by just like, there are more shots of the Enterprise, more shots of this weird ship, more crazy lights, more people staring at the camera. Um, and then when they do talk, it's just, it's either cryptic nonsense, like what is V'ger, or it's just like the bare minimum of dialogue that needs to be said. Um, it's neat to see all the the original Star Trek characters, but if you're not Kirk, McCoy, or Spock, like nothing happens at all. And then, um, like even then, like McCoy is just kind of there. He's like, I don't like anything here. And I'm like, right there with you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. And like. <laughs> I'm glad that Star Trek recovered. I know there's problems with all the, the odd-numbered ones, but, I mean, at least we got some cool movies with the uh, the original Star Trek cast, but, like, this ain't it. This is long and boring, and it just, it drags and drags. And, yeah, like, I've watched some really bad, really boring movies that at least you know, like, at one point, like, real stupid monster is gonna jump out and have a really bad fight with something and we're gonna laugh <clears throat> at it or something like that there's there is nothing there's no reward for anything here like by the end when you you're like i sat through all of this for that and like you know it's like gotcha sucker um there's just there's just nothing here also the um like while the models look really cool and the set uh, all the set pieces look really cool the costumes are they're just the fucking worst. Um, mm. It's just, it's bad. And, you know, I, I wouldn't even, are we, do we need to hold up? Your, <clears throat> your mic sounds like it's like disconnected or something. It's V'ger. We have technical difficulties. Yeah, it might I be. See it's, yeah, it's not picking up my voice. Yeah, it's really weird. Do you want my mic? <laughs> or the blue mic? Is this mic working? This mic isn't working either. Well, that, might, that, that might not be turned on. Yeah. Is this mic working? Try that one. Is this mic working? Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's good. Sorry All right, about it's that, That's okay. I don't know how much of that you missed, but it's basically what Rob said. It's it's long. It's, it's boring. Um, I can't even grade the acting because there's nothing to work with. The sets are, are cool. The um, the music was really good, but that'll only get you so far. And you know, it's just. It's a shame, you know, with, with the big budget that it got and, you know, the, the, the cast and everything, that this was the best they could come up with. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's, it's an F. It's not like, it's not, it's like a, you know, between 40 and 50. It's not like a horrible, horrible F, but it still failed. It's like, it's um, not even like Star Trek. They don't even have the yeah. uniforms. It's a, it's a competently made film that was just a terrible idea to make. I get, um, so yeah, I don't recommend it. Uh, Star Trek Two Wrath of Khan all day, every day. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll try and keep this short since the movie didn't. Uh, again, yeah, it's a lot of pretty stuff, but it is. Again, this would have been like a fine, like half hour Twilight episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, ooh, the evil weird alien thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, Viger, Viger. Oh, it's Voyager. Well, that's a cute little twist, but. It's two hours to get to the end of that goal, and it's so not worth it. Uh, there's so much they hint that could be happening that just doesn't. So, yeah, not not going to recommend. And the padding is obvious, too. That's yeah. the crazy Oh, part. yeah. It's like, well, again, it, well, it's weird because I can't quite tell if it is just padding or if it's more of a, like, 
somebody like you know in the uh, model department paid off the director and was like this is gonna be the movie just showing our cool shit well yeah but it's that know, it's the but... whole like transporter accident thing it's the whole you know yeah. wormhole thing like none of that was necessary mm-hmm. none of that added anything the whole, even the whole well, thing even, with Decker, like but not even Decker and, and unnecessary Kirk. or anything. It's more like it, they don't make it worth the while. Like the time spent on it is, does well, yeah. not equal what it because it does. wasn't meant to actually be the transport plot. Yeah, the transporter yeah. thing was just so we could be like, oh, our Vulcan is out. We need a new science officer. Yeah, I mean, I guess we I, knew Spock was coming anyway, yeah. but you know, hey, honestly, just felt like that was oh, we got to stretch this episode. Into yeah, two hours. exactly. Uh, but yeah, finally, <laughs> this guy. for dissenting opinion. Yeah, no, I, I liked the movie. Okay. Uh, I would not give it an A. Uh, there were definitely slow parts in there, and I agree that um, there's plenty more that could have been done with this that wasn't. Um, I think your points about, you know, every time there was a slow fly blo- flyby of name your ship or object in space... Um, they could have had dialogue, they could have had character building, they could have had a whole bunch of different things that they just didn't. Um, the set, I thought, was gorgeous. Um, the models, I thought, were gorgeous. Yep. I just watched all of the original series, and the amount of detail in this was just a joy to behold. Um, the costumes, I, I can kind of see what you're saying, but for whatever reason... All of the movies, as far as I'm aware, do something weird with costumes. Yes. In the next generation. I have it, it no gets idea better, why. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they do that. Yeah. And, and I, I don't movies. have, like, a defense for it. Yeah. But like this, um, they were all wearing the same color. It's like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. There wasn't even they a just, distinction. Not even good colors, but... <laughs> I, don't, I don't see the reason to depart from what's already in the show. Is It just doesn't make any sense mm-hmm. to do a totally well, different costume just because you're on the big screen. Well, so. the whole idea, I mean, it's a movie, bigger budget, yeah. you know, we got, and plus with the new ship, we wanted to upgrade the costumes. I get the idea, but this is not an upgrade. This is a downgrade from what you have. That's the real issue. Uh, yeah. But Sorry. yeah, I I would overall give this like a B minus. I was okay with the reveal. I was okay with, I was honestly okay with the pacing. It didn't feel like it was two hours to me um it You're might just Trek be my guy. kind of thing i am definitely a trekkie um it might just be my kind of movie where it's like i suspend my predictive capabilities of like what might this plot actually be and i i just enjoyed watching it i don't know all right but overall not recommending i guess we could go with wrath although i haven't seen that in years so i don't know stuff happens <laughs> ships, ships fight. Genesis there we go. Torpedo. I'm on board then. Go watch one of so, Ricardo three. Montalban. Go watch one of the two good Star Wars movies. <laughs> three weeks. I'll give you that. Uh, Jedi. Uh, two and a half. It's all right. Two and a half. Jedi's passable. Before you get to Endor, it's fine. Yeah. Anyway. That's uh, a bigger story that's for that. another day. What's next? Got a roll, right? got a roll. Yeah. It's <laughs> rolling. It is. Did you look up the... Oh, you fucking assholes. <laughs> John got Rush Hour. You got this. Uh, I'll give you guys a Neil Breen right in the dick. Take it over a Transformers. Let's see if it has to be one of the good ones. Oh, oh so close. <laughs> oh, nice. A little bit of apropos. It's 2000's X-Men. Hmm. Oh. The first in... I don't know if I've seen this. <laughs> Once again, our, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're this close. Once again, our dice wants us to be timely, just not in a good just time. Not timely enough. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. We're gonna watch some X Men. We're gonna get some Dorito dust mm. all over the dice bag. And that's gonna do it for this episode of the podcast, guys. I want to thank everybody for listening. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Uh, yeah. Hello. Adios. Good night, Now I can watch the rest of the movies. Oh, Oh, fuck.
Hey everybody, thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe, and if possible, leave a review. If you have questions, comments, or would like to sponsor an episode, email us at the4ampodcast at gmail.com. And if you want to support the show, you can buy a t-shirt, hoodie, and more at Teespring. Or gain access to exclusive content by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash 4ampodcast. Thanks again for listening. See you next time.